Hi fellow Django developers, as the guy here from alwaysdjango.com where we discuss interesting Django topics that helps you grow, improve as a Django developer. If that sounds interesting, like, share, subscribe, comment on this video, let's get into it. So today we are going to discuss how to create and read Django's in Django, uh, how, to create, how to create and read sections in Django. So this is the second video in our Django sections and cookies playlist right i'll leave a link to the playlist so that you can go check it out like view it like view thoroughly we went really we are going really in depth into what Django, um how to use sections and django sections and cookies in django i don't know what's wrong with me today guy i'm mispronouncing everything like every word is wrong that's by the way let's try so i'll also leave a link to this article on always and uh, this article uh, throughout this playlist will be referencing this article right so let's get into it so we are going to let's say sections in django configurations for sections to work in django you must specifically add them to your project settings.py file first add the django.contrib.sessions.middleware.session middleware to your middleware list then add django contrib sessions to your installed applications list when a new Django when a new Django project is created, these settings are applied by default to the project. Django stores its sessions in the database, so you need to run a Python manage your py, Python manage your py migrate to create the Django sessions table. This is where your session will be stored. You can also share you can also change where your sessions will be stored from the database to file or caches etc. Every request handling method in Django Every request handling method, every request handling method in Django gets a request object as first parameter. With this dictionary parameter, we are able to access and manipulate request sessions. Right. So what we are trying to say here is that when you create a new Django project, sessions work out of the box because you have this um django contrib the sessions the middleware the session middleware in your middleware list and you have this django contrib this django contrib sessions in your installed application list so with this django sessions works for your django application then because django by default stores your sessions in the database in a django sessions table right so you have to run the um the django command the mig django migrate command which is python manage the py migrate right so with this we are ready to use sessions right so here i already have an uh, a simple django project here when we navigate to as uh, the home page then slash create and read sessions you have this right so here is the view here is the view in the view we just Create, we just render an index file, index.html file, which is this file here, this index.html file. Then we pass in the context. Our context is obviously empty right now, right? So first of all, we are going to look at creating sections. Let me let me comment that out. Creating sessions in Django. So to create sessions in Django, you have this request every view in django every view that handles request in django gets this request parameter so with this request parameter in this request parameter you can have um you have the request dot sessions the, the request dot session so this request dot session with this request dot session is a dictionary am i right is a dictionary rest is a dictionary in this dictionary you can set the key for the key of the session you want to set and equal to the value you want to set it at so this is generally how you set sessions so let's say maybe let's set a session for the username let's say user name is equal to let's say john do let's say our username here is john do <clears throat> let's say that's that's what we talked about here we said we said to create a session we add a new a new value to the request dot session dictionary with a choosing key this key is used to 
retrieve these sessions so you simply come here request the session enter the key for the for the session the key the name of the session i will enter the value right so this is how you set sessions in django this is how you use them so let's look at how um reading sessions in django so just like just like every other dictionary just like every other dictionary in django you can simply read a dictionary in django by referring to the dictionary here the dictionary is request the session then you enter the key the key right you enter the key then the name the key for the dictionary that's here or you can use the get method or you can use the django dictionary get method get enter the 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 name of the dictionary value you want to get so this should contain john do if everything runs well this should contain john do because this is the username we have set username here username here this is the name of the session or we can say name of session is equal to user name so after creating this name you can now come here use this as a variable can now come here change this to this username change this to this username we are just using this to keep it consistent right so that maybe you don't make um a mistake maybe instead of instead of saying username username here you say maybe username with a with a as a lowercase n right so this will not work instead of this just to keep things consistent here so let's pass in let's pass in this username into our context let's pass in this username into our context username username right this context is in our is in our index.py in our template let's go to our template and render it out yes we are rendering it out here so let's reload and see if it worked <clears throat> here we see john do let me make it a little bit bigger let me make it a little bit bigger let me use h1 right use h1 so john do if you can remember john do is the name of our user our username that we set here the username that we set here john do right so like here right here we are using the get method the django dictionary the python dictionary get method right so for this get method it returns it is it, it does not return an exception when the when the session does not exist when a value in a dictionary does not exist but if we go here now and say let's get something that does not exist from from our section <clears throat> we can see we are getting an error yeah we are getting a key error because this key does not exist in the session so it is very very much advisable that before you use a section before you read a session you confirm that that session is in the dictionary what i'm trying to say is maybe you instead of instead of reading the dictionary reading the section just like this you say something like if if um name of cookie and and request dot session session if this exists you say username is equal to this then else else maybe you say username is equal to no user right so with this we are safer right you are saying if this name exists in the, if this username exists in the request the sessions in the request the session dictionary get it right we return it but if it does not exist we say we provide a default value for our username right or you can simply do this you can simply say username name is equal to let's say no user right you are setting a default a default value for this username then if it exists in the dictionary we return 
we return you change the, the value of the username to the value we stored in the session right so if we go here if we reload now we get it but if if this session does not exist in there if this name name of session does not exist in this request of sessions which is this this username which you are setting here does not exist in the request of session let's say we say something like okay right if we say maybe um this is not in the session this is obviously not in the session then we reload we reload our browser you can see we are getting no user why because because this value does not exist in the session we are not setting it anywhere here in the session right so it's always advisable to make sure that your sections your sections are set before you start using them to make maybe any decision maybe you want to get maybe you want to get user user dot objects dot get where username is equal to this username right you can see that if this username does not exist if you did not say this username if you did not confirm here that i did not say this username if you did not confirm here that i did not say this username this line of code here will most probably will probably raise an exception right because this username will not exist because you did not set it in your sessions before you did not set it in your session i did not confirm whether it was in the session before using it right so guys this is how you use your session this is how you create and read sessions in django you just refer the request or just reference the request of session dictionary you set it to the value you want request the session dictionary you get the value you want from it so thank you guys for staying in tune and then in the next video in the next video we are going to look at how to update and delete sessions in django so like subscribe turn up the turn on the notifications so that i stay up to date when we release new videos peace